Welcome to Gale Blade News. In today's article, people across England have had their first night out in three months after coronavirus restrictions have eased. Hospitality venues such as pubs and restaurants, as well as hairdressers, cinemas and theme parks reopened with strict social distancing rules. But ministers urged caution and England's chief medical officer said the latest step was not risk free. It comes as buildings and landmarks across the country were lit up to celebrate the NHS. People were also encouraged to place lights in their window on Saturday to remember those who have died from the virus. Downing Street was lit up uh, blue while other public buildings, including Royal Albert Hall, uh, Blackpool Tower, the Shard and the Wembley Arch were also illuminated. Restrictions on the hospitality sector remain in place in Scotland and Wales, while pubs have been able to reopen in Ireland since Friday. In England, people are being allowed to stay the night away from home for the first time since lockdown started, with campsites and holiday accommodation also reopening. Police in Dorset, Devon and Cornwall report gridlock on the roads on Saturday, including a high volume of caravan owners heading to the coast. Despite the relaxation of restrictions, some 30% of bars, pubs and restaurants has stayed shut, according to the Nighttime Industries Association, amid fears for safety and concerns over how to implement social distancing guidelines. The Campaign for Real Ale National Chairman Nick Antona said the government had not really been helpful with their guidance, leaving it to the last minute in a lot of cases. Some pubs want to see what's going to happen before opening their doors, he said. At a pub in Newcastle, Hunters were enjoyed their first proper pint in more than three months. The atmosphere is a bit different, that was expected, but everyone's having a good time, one customer told the BBC's Fiona Trot. The regulations are good and everyone is sticking with them by the looks of things, said his compa- companion. But it's a very different sto- sort of uh, Saturday evening from pre-lockdown expectations. Customers are expected to book a table in advance to register their details on arrival and to stay not more than three hours. While pubs in Scotland remain closed, one publican in Berwick-upon-Tweed claimed 70% of his pub's bookings were from over the border. Publican Mark MacDonald told BBC Scotland people had travelled from as far afield as Glasgow and Edinburgh to drink at the Meadow House. It is a different story in Leicester, where the streets were largely deserted, as pubs and other venues remain closed after the city became the first to be subject to a local lockdown on Monday, following a spike in COVID-19 cases. Other rule changes that came into effect on Saturday include allowing two households to meet indoors or outside, including for overnight stays, although they have to maintain social distancing. People in England are still urged uh, to stay two metres apart, but the new one metre plus guidance means they can get closer if they use mitigation measures such as face coverings and not sitting face to face. Chancellor Rishi Sunak welcomed the reopening of businesses, saying it was good news, people were working again. On a visit to the Bell and Crown in Chiswick, West London, Mr Sunak said that almost half a million people who worked in Britain's Britain's pubs and bars were helping us all to enjoy summer safely. But Labour leader Sir Keir Starmer criticised the government's messaging as all over the place, telling Times Radio, We have had some government messaging saying go out and have a drink, other messaging saying be responsible, be cautious. The messaging, I think, has been very poor over the last few weeks. Uh, Despite the easing of restrictions, public health experts are continuing to warn people to be cautious to avoid a second UK wave of the epidemic. Uh, Professor Robert West, an epidemiologist from University College London, told the BBC we are looking at around 20,000 new infections a week and around 1,000 deaths a week, and the rates aren't coming down very fast. The latest figures released on Saturday showed a further 67 people had died in the UK after testing positive for coronavirus, bringing the total death toll to 44,198. So here's other ru- here are the rules and guidance uh, on meeting up. Um, how many people are allowed? Uh, in England, six from different households, no limit if from two households. To Scotland, up to eight from three households. From Wales, any number from two households. And from Ireland, up to 30 outdoors. Uh, at what distance? England is one metre plus. Scotland, two metres apart, less in some premises. 
as of the 10th of July, Wales 2 metres apart and Ireland 1 metres, 1 metre apart. In terms of being indoors, um, in England that's two households, in Scotland that's three households from the 10th of July. In Wales, two households can form one extended household from the 6th of July and in Ireland up to six people. In terms of outdoors, um, England allows anywhere, um, Scotland is anywhere, um, Wales is anywhere from the 6th of July and the um, from Ireland it's also anywhere. So what do you think of uh, this uh, situation? Uh, were you concerned? Did you actually brave? Were you brave enough to go outside or did you think it was, as some people dubbed it, stupid Saturday? Whatever you think, leave your comments down below, like the video if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe.